Dini Sirak here with outside linebacker Marcus Golden, and this is Sideline Exchange. Marcus, coming off a dominating 37-20 victory over the Rams, this Cardinals defense leads the league in forced fumbles and fumble recoveries. You helped them out a little bit last week, that forced fumble, which led to a seven-point scoring drive. How crucial are those takeaways in terms of shifting the momentum and taking control of the game? Uh, well, it's, like you said, it's real crucial. Anytime you get a takeaway, it, it changes the energy of the game. You want to get the offense back to ball because you know if you can get the most turnovers, you're most likely going to win the game. So that's always the focus. We practice it every week, getting the ball out. We got a lot of good coaches that preach and get the ball out, reach for the ball. So, and it worked for me in the game. So I'm gonna make sure I keep going after the ball every week. It's worked for you in all four games so far this season. In all four games, you have recorded either a sack, a forced fumble, or a fumble recovery. What's been the key behind your disruptive behavior? Well, really, just you got to give credit to the coaches, man. They out there calling some good plays. My teammates, they playing hard, making plays too. And me, I'm just doing my job, making sure I go out there every day, doing what I practice, working hard in practice, and practicing. It's translating to the game. I make sure I'm running, always trying to be around the ball, no matter what. And it's translating to the game. So it feels good when you finally getting out there and you're getting some results. You also had a quarterback hit, right? And it's, it's about more than just those sacks in terms of making a difference on the field. Yes, yes, of course. Especially, we got a lot of good pass rushers, a lot of great pass rushers, a lot of guys that can cover. So pass rushers work together. You need guys that can cover, you need guys that can get out to the quarterback. And we got both. And uh, you ain't going to always get the quarterback down for a sack because they get the ball out so quick in the NFL. And so it's always good. If you can hit the quarterback and rattle him, and then the next play he's looking for you to hit him again and he's making bad throws because of it, that's just as better as a sack. Another divisional opponent, San Francisco 49ers on deck this week. The 49ers are perfect in both red zone and goal to go conversions. How do you prevent this offense from moving the chains and taking advantage on those crucial plays? Oh yeah, you got, like you said, they, they perfect in the red zone and uh, they're doing a lot of good things on the field this year. So we just got to do, do what our coach is telling us to do. We going out here, we got a good game plan for them and uh, we know they got a good young quarterback and uh, they got a bunch of players, man. So in a good old line too, so I give them credit. They got a lot of good players, but we just got to get out there and do our job and um, everything will work out. Their starting quarterback is still up in the air at this point. Starting quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo hurt his calf last week, so there's a chance you get to see rookie quarterback Trey Lance. How yeah. difficult is that when you're preparing for a game throughout the week and there's no set quarterback all week? Well, it ain't. I wouldn't say it's difficult because both of those guys are pretty good and they got some good, a good film on both of the guys. So you just go in, you watch film on both of them and um, go over the film. But no matter who they got, you know it's going to be a good quarterback because both of those guys are pretty good and uh, we look forward to it. Cardinals are sitting atop the NFC West, the last undefeated team in the league. How do you block out that outside noise, all that praise for this hot start, and just focus on carrying over this success? Well, really, you know how it go. When, whenever you're winning, you're going to start getting a lot of more attention. People are going to start talking about you a little more. So I just say, man, start it like you did in the beginning of the season. When no one was talking about you, when no one had us winning, um, you keep that same mentality. It keeps you humble. It keeps you hungry. And that's what I've been preaching to the guys. Just, man, stay humble and keep doing what we've been doing the whole season. And don't, don't buy into the hype. Just stay focused and take it one game at a time. Red Sea, we can't wait to see you out at State Farm Stadium Sunday. Make sure you're cheering loud for Marcus Golden and the rest of the Cardinals. Reporting from Cardinals practice, I'm Danny Serac.